Today I'm going to show you guys my caterpillar setup to raise monarch butterflies. The first thing you need to have is a milkweed plant and you can basically get these from anybody in our group. You can grow them from seeds, you can also get them from Plant Hill. Let me show you my plant. These are the milkweed plants. You probably see them in forest reserves and fields and stuff. There's another patch over there. So the first thing you want to do is look for eggs on the milkweed. And you do that by going down, pulling it down, and looking underneath for eggs. So because I was already out here earlier, I can show you where one is. and show you how little itty bitty 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 it is. Those are kind of hard to find if you're not like looking for them. Okay, here it is. See if I can focus on that. That's an egg right there. It's 3D, it looks like a little booger. So when you do find an egg, you snap it off, turn it upside down because it's gonna drip out this goopy stuff. And next I'll show you where to put this. So after you snap off the leaf, you want to bring it inside. And then what I do is I wet a little piece of paper towel and I just wrap it around the stem like this. That. And you basically just put it inside here. This is a Tupperware container or a rubber made container with a damp paper towel at the bottom for humidity. And then we just put a lid over it. Keep some in there. And then, so after, you gotta check this every day. And you'll see, when you look at the leaf, you'll see a little hole. And that usually means that they're born and they're chewing and they're active. So um, after this stage, I transfer the leaf to a jar like this. These are like big pickle jars with um, a coffee filter and a rubber band over it. So I just took a leaf out of the jar and there's a little baby caterpillar. This is probably the second instar. Um, monarchs go through five stages before they make their chrysalis and then turn into butterflies. So this is probably stage two. Um, after they get to, I usually keep them in the jar, um, probably to stage three, and then I move them to a bigger tank. So the bigger caterpillars, like this guy, this is a stage five. So after the stage five, he's gonna climb up to the, to the screen top right here and make a um, chrysalis and they just hang there and then after that they turn into butterflies you know he's a big guy but you don't want to mix sizes I usually just keep my littler guys away from the bigger guys just because sometimes they do fight so after they chrysalize they turn into butterflies um, you do need to wait 24 hours for the wings to harden. And then after that, we release the butterflies outside. And you want to make sure that you have a food source on your property, such as um, echinacea. Pretty much any kind of flowers, but they they really like the echinacea if you can try to find it. If not, um, I have seeds and stuff too if you need some. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much the setup. Back here I have... My swallowtail caterpillars, which they've been sitting in here. I had this out in my shed in the winter, but they've been sitting um, in here since September. Yeah, they finally enclosed on 923. So I just labeled it, put it in the shed, but that's a whole different ballgame, swallowtails. Um, but this is my first time doing swallowtails, so I'm not really familiar 100% with that process. So that just... It's just gonna hang out we're just waiting for them to hatch so um, if you guys are more if you guys need uh, questions and stuff answered 
Um, there's a really good page on um, Facebook called Monarch Mamas of the Midwest. And um, they'll be able to tell you more about monarchs and swallowtails and stuff. But, yep, here's my setup. And that's about it. Oh, um, this is just a Mr. Bottle of water um, to keep the eggs fresh a little bit. And then for their, their food source, um, you do need to feed them, um, everybody, a monarch leaf or a milkweed leaf every day. So, like, while I'm out there looking for eggs, I just pluck one for him. And then I pluck a fresh one for these guys in here. I think there's three of them in there, and then I have one big one. So, yeah, that's it. That's my setup.